a barricade. Okay, we'll yeah. keep watching. I'm at 1653 now. Seems like they're trying to push some cops back. No, yeah, are you there? Yep. Okay. Oh, we've got, oof, okay. So do, do the cops look like they're leading them in here? Would you, ha would you have that impression? No, here as they you're don't. Watching no, oh, they don't, okay. they don't gotcha. look okay. like they're leading them here at all. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just checking. Like, I can... I can uh, acknowledge when I haven't seen some footage before. I'm, this is, I'm not like I, like I said, I'm not ideologically possessed to say, to excuse anything and everything. Like I could admit. You, the fact that you haven't seen this means that you are so ideologically brainwashed. You're like no, in another dimension. Yes. So. Yes. You absolutely are. I'm sorry. Do you, do these cops here, the guy with the baton that's hitting the people, do you think that he's letting them in peacefully? Oh, clearly not. There's. Okay. Okay. Clearly Just not. making sure. Okay. okay. The gates here that are being pushed over. Was that by the order of the cops? Oh, you see the cops walking back now. Do you think that they're letting them in peacefully now? Now are the cops leading them in? Or do you think they're retreating from position because there are 50,000 savages that are in front of them that have all been riled up from Donald Trump and marched like a mile away to come to the Capitol building to protest the election results? Or, or, or were they just letting them in? Do you have any idea? Okay, so some of them were let in. Some of them approached okay. Without, okay. Uh, without being uh, held back by the law enforcement. Okay. So, well, now we're coming to the building. Okay. Is this guy banging on the window? The one that broke it there? The, are these guys being let in right now? That guy? Doesn't look like it. Hold on. Oh. Now, when that guy jumps in and the cop is spraying, what is that, silly putty? I guess it must be Adam or whatever because they're playing games here. Are there already people being led into the building at some other spot at this point? Or the okay. first people in the building, the ones that broke in? There's a few people that broke in, yes. The I first ones that got that. in broke anyway, in, correct? Um, so, so, okay, so just to get back... Uh, no, no, wait, 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 first I want to hear you say, the first people that got into here broke in, correct? The first few people, it looks like some of them um, were pushing their way in. And yeah, No, 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 no. What do you call it when you push through a material and you break it? That's called a break-in. They broke in, right? So I just have a quick question for you. Um, like you, you seem extremely angry about all of this, and yes, you're fighting with a lot of people on Twitter. You're yep. insulting people on Twitter. Yep, I am. Um, so, um, do you think that uh, any of what's been said by the people in the last four years, like I said, demonizing Trump and celebrating um you know the people celebrating the attempt on his life do you think that contributes to what uh, to what was happening um in 2020 uh no maybe a little maybe one percent the, the issue you have is because your problem is you're saying too many people are demonizing trump have you ever stopped to think well maybe he's acting like a demon People are treating Trump like he's a dictator. Have you ever thought that maybe he's actually acting like a dictator? The um, fact that you're not familiar with anything that happened on, you don't know no, any of the evidence. You don't know what, you don't know the entire dictator. Jack Smith indictment. You didn't even know that the first people that got into the Capitol building broke in. Why would I care what you know? You clearly know nothing about any of this. Yet you seem to have a strong no, opinion I don't, about I don't it. Think I, don't, I don't think that's correct. I think I know some, I think I know uh, some things. I wasn't following like i said it wasn't following it 24 7 without sleeping or reading full indictments but it's or reading possible. any any part of an indictment right no. can you be honest about that you haven't read a single sentence in any of the four indictments that donald trump is facing in the united states right or well, i guess it's only three now because one case is done hopefully it gets tossed thank god for the supreme court but can you admit that you haven't read a single word of any of those indictments you, no before that can you please no no, no i need to hear you i need to hear you say that first so that we're on the same page and then i'll answer whatever question you want you haven't read a no, single no, no. sentence like, you, from you any of those indictments. when i was trying to talk to you about him being a dictator you say he's a dictator he's acting like a dictator yeah um did he not uh relinquish his uh you know his loss after a failed after a failed insurrection so no he didn't relinquish it he lost his insurrection attempt and then he walked so away even mad. though he said uh be peaceful we're not violent and all those things you still believe that he you, you not believe you you assess for that to be part of him inciting an insurrection yeah yeah of course because i have a brain and somebody saying in one sentence 
walk peacefully doesn't magically nullify the entire hour long speech where he's telling people you have to fight like hell or you're no a single no, sentence I, I in a one hour speech don't. does not nullify the entirety of the speech because guess what if i look at what happened right after the speech do you think it's a coincidence that people went there marching chanting 1776 so on the like day that the election was going to be certified and then they broke into the building and they delayed the certification of the election was all of that just a coincidence so, so you think the words fight like hell is problematic but you don't see other words as problematic when they say Kat, um, I'm I'm so example, sorry. I, I no no, I don't evaluate this like a four year old. I'm not looking at one sentence or one word because I know what you want to say. Well, when they said fight like hell, what about when Nancy Pelosi says we need to fight? And what about what no, it's not the same. What I'm saying is that taken as a whole, Donald Trump called people here on January 6th to do this speech while they were certifying the vote. He riled them up. He tried to rig the election and then he sent them to the Capitol building to protest where they broke in, where they delayed the certification of the election, which was his goal. And then he made a speech for his country is is them riling, riling oh. his base up. What I were they going I there to protest? What were they going there to protest? Pardon? What were they going there to protest? They were going to protest because they thought the election was stolen from them. Oh, that's an insurrection. No, it isn't. What do you how think is, it means if you go just, to protest because you think an election protest? was stolen? Well, Hillary thought it was stolen as well. Hillary because, Hillary because gave up that president. light. Hillary gave up that night. How many court cases did Hillary launch to challenge the election results? Can you tell me well, how many court cases? How many? Was it? How many people? How many powerful people wanted her? Uh, you know, wanted her kept out of power. Did how she many have, court cases did Hillary Trinton, uh, how many, Hillary Clinton no, no, launch to challenge how, the election like, results? Did she have an entire barrage of media and elected officials uh, demonizing her and um, doing the same thing that they're doing to Trump, trying to prevent her to, uh, from being elected? Did, did that happen to Hillary? How many court cases did Hillary Clinton launch challenging the results of the election? But did she have such a forceful uh, barrage of, like I said, media, elected officials, and including their base? Uh, you know, just vehemently opposing, calling her the devil, you know, saying all these things. Yes, she, the Republicans had been doing that? it for years. Yes. What do you think the email scandal was about? What do you think the Benghazi hearings were about? By the way, so, hearings that Hillary Clinton sat through, gave testimony for like 12 hours and an investigation that she fully cooperated with. Not like the insurrectionist, uh, traitorous so president that used so for it, who invoked not... executive privilege at every single opportunity, who pled the fifth at every single opportunity, and who has now been granted absolute criminal immunity for some of his actions so that he never has to answer for so, any of the things so, that he's done. So, so to go back delete, one more time, like, I answered your question, to go back one more time, how many lawsuits did Hillary Clinton file file challenging the result of the election i don't know did she file any not a single one okay um so they said when did hillary that... wait, wait when did hillary uh concede the election it was within one day do you agree with that i was following closely then so i don't know i just know it that was she called it, I it was she called him day. an illegitimate president that's great i know, I know yeah i know you got those good start... talking points in i like how that by the way i like how that one sentence that's enough for you there but one sentence from trump saying fight like hell and then afterwards just people going fight like hell that doesn't mean um, anything to you that's very funny to me f fight like hell doesn't necessarily mean or uh break windows or anything like that when you say and why is it wait 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 let's say i agree with what you just said okay sure why is it then that when that started to happen and when staffer after staffer went in begging trump hey can you call off your sycophantic savage can you tell me why donald trump didn't stop them if they weren't doing exactly what he wanted to do why did donald trump and giuliani make phone calls to lawmakers inside of congress telling them hey maybe you should delay the uh, vote maybe you should push it back a few days why did he do that if that wasn't exactly what he wanted his protesters to do how do you know what I, I'm going to react? Just exactly. so you know, the conversation is over right here until you answer that question or give me an alternative thing. I'm not answering this game. You have to tell me what was the point because it seems incredibly obvious. Donald Trump gave a speech. They went to the Capitol. They broke in. They delayed the they delayed the certification of the vote, which is what Donald Trump apparently wanted them to do. And for hours, while they protested, breaking windows, breaking doors, breaking on inside, he sat and he watched. And the only phone calls that he made while people were begging him to tweet to stop the violence were to try to pressure lawmakers to delay the vote. Tell me why he did that. Why did he wait for hours? Give me one pl possible explanation that doesn't satisfy well, my story. I'm not in his mind. I, I'm not a mind reader. I can't ascribe motivation to his thoughts that I don't have access to, Destiny. 